Hey peeps, and welcome to a brand new series of a game called Neo Scavenger. Neo Scavenger is a roguelike survival apocalypse game, and it can be pretty punishing. I, I've had this game for a while, um, and since I wanted to do more roguelikes on the channel and also fit in with our survival theme that we tend to do, um, I thought this would be a good game to feature um, now that Brogue and Sproggy Wood are both wrapped up. So um, we're going to jump back right in. I will tell you, although I've played the game in the past, I am not by any means very good at it. Um, I, as with most games I play on the channel. Um, so anyways, uh, so to start the game, you can pick out traits and you have 15 points. Um, and so like for you to pick strong, we use six points. I'm not going to use that one, but if you pick a negative trait, um, for instance, I'm going to go with myopia, myopia and metabolism. So myopia, you can see one less hex than normal and detecting hitting creatures is harder. Metabolism makes your food and water intake rates uh, increased and healing rates are slightly increased. So, um, so it takes us a little bit longer, or we're, uh, we need more food and water, and I think that means it makes us heal faster. Um, but that gives us, uh, three extra points. You can see these little squares here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start with melee, um, trapping, and ranged, and botany. So that leaves us two more points to spend. Um, which means we could either do hiding or hacking. Uh, of course, if we threw in insomniac, which is kind of an it's kind of annoying, but not like a huge deal. If we threw in insomniac, we could choose athletic. or lock picking or mechanic. Which one do we, or F, yeah, no, I already said athletic. I'm not really worried about tracking. Oh, my dog is whining, I don't know why. Can you jump up? What are you doing, cat? There's, uh, I'm a little bit nervous of my cat being under Neath my desk because it um, chewed up the cord on my nice set of headphones. So I'm using some crappy ones I went and bought until I can. Yeah, and my dog is whining after the cat. You don't need to be. What is innervated? We don't want that. We don't want that. Oh, we don't want that. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're fine. I don't know what's going on with him. I kind of want lock picking, so let's take Insomniac and go with lock picking. Yeah, this looks like a pretty good setup. All right, you wake up disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod, still damp from cryo, cryo fluid. The thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large O5 is painted. Across the room, there is an open door to the hallway and a broken window leading outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly scream erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming fast. So I'm going to choose melee to prepare to fight. You instinctively drop to a defensive stance at, as it bursts into the room. The beast stands on its hind legs like a man, but has the appearance of a ragged, predatory duck. It looks right at you and shrieks with a sound that freezes your blood. Despite your fear, you put up a pretty good fight. You move like you've done this before, and you avoid most of his lunges. You even manage to deliver a blow that sends the beast reeling in a haze. Taking advantage of his distraction, you knock him to the ground and deliver a fatal blow with your knee. Though wounded, at least you're alive. So, with the rush of adrenaline fading, you turn your attention back to the strange room. You should probably finish up here in case there are more of those things. And just a warning, there's going to be a lot of reading in this series because um, it does have a bit of a story. So we're going to search the um, console for records. Check the console for any patient info and come across three records. Anton Blubber, emergency contact Angela Blubber, and it gives an address and everything. Um, Tank 5, which is us. Philip Kindred, must, Philip must be our name. There's no data. Um, Detroit Savings Bank, and then Lloyd Blankcheck. 
Meyer & Meyer LLP, which is Limited Liability Partnership. Learned that in business school. Um, and Detroit Savings Bank is where. So that's, that's important information later. So we're actually going to climb out the window. You decide to go outside and see if you can figure out where you are. Avoiding the broken glass, you step onto the seal and outside rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area. It's cool outside and damp, probably morning. The distant report of a gun catches your attention. You cock your head listening, but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, though that doesn't necessarily comfort you. You're in the parking lot of Geiges Cryo Facility, but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration mounts, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. So the first thing we're going to do is scavenge on this plot, um, the cryo facility. Despite its high-tech appearance, this facility seems to be tucked away in the wilderness, out of sight. Uh, this bodes well for the chances of finding something of value or even shelter, provide nothing else to set up shop here with those same ideas. So confirm. Let's see what we get. We just got some glass shards. So we're actually going to just, we're going to jump right into our crafting and we're going to grab the dogman corpse, the shard, and use our trapping skill. And that will create a dogman for coat and meat. And we're going to go to our person and we're going to put on, oop, no, we want that on, our dogman for coat. And we're going to take five glass shards. And let's move on to the city block. As you approach the town, there is no sign of activity. Buildings stand in ruin. Vehicles are overturned and blackened with fire. Explosion marks radiate outward from walls and pavement. In the distance, strange-looking creatures circle in the sky like monstrous, leathery vultures. The world has drastically changed from what you knew. Some sort of cataclysm has befallen Earth, returning mankind to the Dark Ages. And along with it, your hopes of finding a warm meal and some answers. You decide to look around and scavenge what you can find from the ruins exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and scavenge let's oh yes we're gonna we can't actually start uh let's start with this abandoned house confirm what did we get here okay so we've got some water bottles do we get ooh cigarette lighter we're definitely gonna take that I want to take these bottles too but we need to keep scavenging because we don't have any storage or way to carry it. So we can scavenge with a light source which is um, potentially going to give us more loot. It didn't do anything. And that's our turn. You get four moves per turn. Oh crap. Um, we came across a stranger with a monkey wrench. We are going to duck behind cover. Uh, we're both taking cover. My question is, do I want to do something super risky? We don't really have much to lose because the the game just started. He does have a monkey wrench, but we we have melee. I suppose we're not close enough to attack him, so we're gonna keep advancing under cover. Which under cover just means if he has a um a ranged weapon, it will be more difficult for him to shoot us. Okay, so, now we're now in range to attack. Now we can do a melee search, but um, it automatically lose one turn, and it's... I'd have, I don't have a lot of luck with hitting on this, unless they're stunned, so we're going to just use a normal melee attack. We battered Bad Muth's upright arm with a punch. He didn't hit us. Let's melee again. We missed. We're gonna keep. We're just gonna keep hitting on this guy. Uh, our lower stomach got punched. Let's, I can't close the encounter screen. I want to check my condition. We're in a bit of pain. We might need to see if we can get an advantage. Okay. Um. But I'm gonna crushed. Yeah. We need to. We're bleeding. Let's let's run. 
Let's take cover. He's advancing towards us. I'm going to keep retreating. Let's see if we can get out of here. He charges at us. We're still bleeding. Uh, what do I want to do here? Should I run or may? I don't think he's going to let us go. Which is a concern. And we're bleeding. And we're in severe pain. Uh, let's run. He missed, but he needs a moment to recover, which is might give us our chance. Now we're now in minor pain, so we're recovering. Let's get, you know what? Let's actually keep, let's keep running. I don't think he's going to let us escape, but we're just gonna keep running. Okay, let's try Desperate Retreat. Let's run away. Desperate Retreat. Desperate Retreat. If our bleeding stops, we might... Uh, let's... Yeah, we're dead. We're unconscious, we're bleeding, we're falling, we're covered, stunned. We are, we're dead. Player passed out, player's bleeding, and turn. Oh, he re he's retreating. How did we survive that? Okay, let's go to our medical tab. Minor bruising, moderate pain, minor cut, minor bruising, minor bruising, moderate pain, severe bruising, minor bleeding, moderate pain. Okay, well that is what it is. Um, Okay, I don't know why he didn't let us retreat. I'm surprised he left, let us go. Oh my gosh, I think I just... Okay, yes. Okay, so disposable shopping bag we can use as a backpack, and we want that, we want that. Let's take this other one. The bad mood, the guy must have taken those water bottles. We're also gonna take that. So having this pot means that it's that is a very good thing. So what I'm gonna do is and turn, we're gonna move up to this hill because it'll let us see a little bit farther. And let's use our botany skill here. Ollie, you're fine. I don't know what is what up with my dog right now. Okay, so those are poisonous, we don't want those. Um, we are going to uh, use that to get some wood and then we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit of crafting here which we should have done before pebbles where's the glass our glass shards oh we must have okay so let's go yeah we don't have our glass shards so we're gonna take oops we're gonna take this we're gonna go back to the cryo facility and we're gonna craft I'm gonna craft with that and this one glass shard. I can make a sharpened spear. Out of moves. Oh, okay, so we gotta end our turn first. How do gotta get out here and turn? Oh, go back to our crafting screen. Confirm. Clear. And then equip this come on there we go so now if we run into that guy again we'll be a little better off um i was really hoping that there would be some water nearby so we could make some bandages and help that uh we also need a little bit of let's end turn i it looks like our start isn't very lucky but surviving that encounter was very lucky. Okay, so here's two water. I don't have anything that I can take that with us. With. 
So what I'm going to do is we're going to use that. We're going to go to our crafting screen and we're going to use our trapping skill with our wood to create a tiny campfire. Oops. Then we're going to create a big campfire. And we can get rid of the wood. Oh, come on. Get out of here. And we're going to put our pot and our water in here. And we're going to sterilize the water. And then we're going to put our rags in our water. And we're going to create clean rags. Clear. Can we clay? Oh, not enough moves. Okay, we're going to create a little bit more clean rags after this turn. Okay, so pan, we could drink this water too, but we want to bandage our stuff. I think that's kind of more important right now. So then we use these clean rags to bandage ourselves. We can also, oh come on. Come on. Why won't it let me? Oh, there we go. There's that one. There we go. So we got most of our injuries bandaged, which is good. Um, so now we can head back to the map. And... We'll keep going. We have to end our turn. Okay, we only have three moves right now, and that took two to get over there. Okay. Let's eat these. We can keep ourselves alive pretty well on the edibles we find. Yeah, our thirst is okay. I'm not going to worry about making more water yet. I'm going to keep moving us forward. I want to find another city area because we need we need more tools. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, we're going to go this way. Um, nope. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go down there. I'm hoping and turn. We do need some place to shelter. Um, so I'm thinking we're still pretty well rested though. Ah, here we go. This is what we need. Okay. As you can see, the later it gets and the less rested we are, the fewer moves we have per turn. Okay. Office buildings. We're going to use that light source. Nothing. I'd really like to find something of use. I mean, getting that pot was actually a really good, a really good find. Um, I'm okay with what's happened so far, but I'd really like to find, there we go. Um, oh, there's a humanoid corpse. I wonder if that's a guy we, yeah, that's the guy that we fought. Okay, cool. So we must have actually injured him pretty well. So now we've got a shoe. He's got, I don't really want what is that? A smartphone battery. We'll keep that for now. Why has he got pebbles in his pocket? Um, we're going to put the, these plastic bags wear out pretty quick. That's why I'm carrying extra. Um, handful of string. We'll take the dirty rags because I'm going to want to clean some more pieces of old newspaper. Beacon in the night. In the wake of the mass evacuations of the Great Black Swamp, stories of families separated are all too common. Today, however, two sisters have reunited despite reunited despite impossible odds. Cassandra and Veronica, sisters who lost contact during the forced evacuation of their hometown, are finally together again. Thanks to their shared interest in astronomy and a nightly ritual of pointing out stars with flashlights, Cassandra and Veronica were able to spot each other's light beams from nearby refugee camps. As soon as we saw the flashlights in the care packages, we knew we had a chance. They beamed. Okay. Oh, and this actually has soda in it. And then we're going to take that wrench. 
Hmm. Right now, I'm just going to take everything. We'll probably trade some of this stuff out. I'm kind of a hoarder, which is not... This game does not... Um... We can start trying to sleep. We could butcher this corpse, too, if we wanted to, but there's no real reason to. So let's go ahead and sleep. I had trouble falling asleep. Yeah, it's a little bit early anyways. Uh, okay, so let's go up. Eh, don't really need water yet. And turn there. Ah, as night falls, you notice a, there's a bright glow coming from the east, easily visible through the treetops. It's no guarantee, but it could be a sign of civilization. Maybe even a lead on who you are, where you are, or who. And if nothing else, it's a good landmark to strike towards as any. Okay, so that is the end of our first day. Um, so let's just let's just take evaluation here. So we do uh, the dogman fur coat is keeping us fairly warm, which is good. Um, I, we need to get a better backpack than this because these wear out pretty quick and obviously we don't have a lot of stuff. Um, we could, if we needed to carry more, we could remove that and put that there and then it gives us more storage. But for now, I'd rather carry the weapon. We don't really need the, the extra room at the moment. Um, we need more bottles eventually so we can carry some water with us. As you can see, we get thirsty rather quickly, and this becomes, it, it's not gonna become a problem because we have a pot. And having a pot, um, we'll be able to get water whenever we really need it. Um, we still are in minor pain, but looks like we're healing up okay. All in all, I feel like this was a really successful first day. Um, we survived, which, uh, you know, was more than I expected during that fight. Not only did we survive, but we killed the guy, which is pretty impressive. So I think we're going to end it here, guys. Um, so thanks for watching. If you uh, are enjoying this series, if you enjoyed this video, please, please hit that like button. It helps out the channel a lot. Um, and if you haven't yet and you're enjoying uh, the content on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And we will see you next time on... Uh, Neo Scavenger. I forgot what game I was playing. Wow. Bye-bye. <laughs>